Ever had that heart-stopping moment when you hit black ice? Well, what if I told you your road could warn you about it before you even get there? The future of transportation isn't just about smarter cars. It's about roads that can think, communicate, and even keep you safe. And trust me, after what I've learned about these innovations, my daily commute will never look the same again. Hey there, road warriors and future enthusiasts. Theodore here, and today we're diving deep into something that's about to revolutionize your daily drive. We're talking smart roads. And I don't just mean better pavement. I mean roads that can literally talk to your car, warn you about dangers ahead, and yes, even honk at you if you're being reckless. Buckle up, because this is one ride you won't want to miss. Hey everyone, ever feel like you're stuck in a time warp uh, every time you hit rush hour? Oh, tell me about it. Well, today's deep dive is all about how we're going to break free from that time warp with smart roads. And we're not just talking about some, you know, futuristic fantasy here. Right. We're diving into real world tech that's being developed and implemented right now. Okay. From self-healing pavement to roads that can actually, believe it or not, talk to your car. Okay, talking roads. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. But let's start with something a little closer to reality, maybe. Okay, sure. This article from Prescott really caught my eye. Um, it talks about smart pavement. And honestly, after years of dodging potholes, the idea of a road that can practically tell you to, like, swerve around a crack before it even forms is pretty darn appealing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's no. like giving roads a sixth sense. Yeah. No, we're not just talking theory here. Right. Integrated Roadways, this company out of Kansas City, they've figured out how to embed fiber optic sensors directly into the pavement. Oh, wow. These sensors act like a nervous system, picking up on everything from traffic flow to road conditions, you name it. So no more surprise potholes. Sign me up. But seriously, how does this actually help me, the driver, you know, on my daily commute. Okay, so imagine this. You're driving to work, okay. and there's a patch of black ice up ahead. Oh, no. With smart pavement, your car would get a warning signal, giving you time to slow down or even change routes before you hit that dangerous stretch. Okay, that's a game changer, especially as someone who lives in a place where uh, winter can turn roads into ice rinks overnight. And this isn't just some far off concept, right? This tech is actually being used right now. Exactly. They've already done a pilot program in Colorado, and now they're installing the smart pavement in Lenexa, Kansas. That's wild. Think of it like giving roads a nervous system. Just like how your body knows when you've touched something hot, these smart roads can instantly detect and respond to everything happening on their surface. It's basically turning our highways into giant smartphones that we drive on. Pretty wild, right? It's like we're living in an episode of The Jessens, except it's real life. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget about making our roads not just smarter, but maybe a little more, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. Absolutely. Remember that project I mentioned earlier, the um, Smart Highway project? They're all about integrating technology and design to create safer, more sustainable, and yes, even more aesthetically pleasing roads. Yeah, I've seen pictures of that bike path they did inspired by Van Gogh's Starry Night ah. using thousands of twinkling stones. It's breathtaking. It really is. They also developed this solar-powered road paint that collects energy during the day and glows for up to eight hours at night. Wait, roads that light themselves up at night? That's both beautiful and practical. Exactly. Safer for drivers, easier on the eyes, and much more energy efficient than traditional streetlights. This is blowing my mind. But not all smart roads are about subtle, twinkling beauty, right? Right. Some of them are designed to really get your attention. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about the honking roads, aren't you? Maybe. You know it. This article from Construction Today mentioned a project by HP Lubricants and Leo Burnett India. They actually created a system where the road itself honks at reckless drivers. They did. And they tested it out on the NH1, one of India's most dangerous roads. Talk about a wake-up call. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Imagine driving along a winding mountain road and suddenly the road itself starts honking at you for speeding. It would definitely make you slam on the brakes. 
That's the idea to make drivers more aware of their surroundings and encourage safer driving habits, definitely. I can definitely see the potential there. Speaking of attention-grabbing tech, what about self-healing roads? That sounds like pure science fiction to me. It does sound futuristic, but it's becoming a reality. Right. Researchers are developing materials that can actually repair minor cracks on their own. Yeah. Wait, so you're telling me that one day I could be driving down the road, yes. blissfully unaware that my car just drove over what would have been a tire popping pothole. It's definitely a possibility. Think of it like this. These special asphalt mixtures are designed to react to changes in temperature or pressure. So when a tiny crack starts to form, the material can actually it can heal itself before it turns into a major headache for drivers. That's incredible. So no more swerving around potholes or calling the city to complain about the state of the roads. Sign me up. But all this talk of smart pavement and honking roads makes you wonder, is this just a bunch of cool tech with no real purpose? Where does this all fit into the bigger picture of how we design and manage our cities? That's a great question. And it leads us right into the world of smart cities. Okay. Where these roads aren't just standalone marvels, but integral parts of a larger interconnected ecosystem. Okay, so we're talking about cities where the roads can practically think for themselves. Kinda, yeah. Tell me more. Think of it this way. In a smart city, everything is connected. Okay. Traffic lights can talk to cars, warning them about pedestrians or adjusting their timing based on real-time traffic flow. Sensors embedded in the pavement can monitor traffic patterns, air quality, even noise levels, all of this data feeding into a central system that helps manage the city more efficiently. It's like having a giant control panel for an entire city, constantly monitoring and adjusting things to make everything run more smoothly. Exactly. And this isn't just some pie in the sky idea. Right. We're already seeing examples of this technology being implemented all over the world. Okay, give me some examples. What kind of real world impact is this tech already having? Well, take a look at what's happening in Latvia. There's a startup there called Berkman, and they've developed this incredible system that uses cameras mounted above intersections to get a bird's eye view of traffic. So instead of relying on sensors embedded in the road, they're getting a full panoramic view of everything that's happening. Precisely. And the really cool part is that this system can actually communicate with vehicles, warning drivers about potential hazards or adjusting traffic signal timing to prevent gridlock. It's like having a traffic conductor orchestrating everything to keep things moving smoothly. And what about other parts of the world? Are there any other companies doing cool things with smart road technology? Absolutely. There's a company in Israel called Valoran that's developed this amazing traffic management platform. It uses data from both sensors and connected vehicles to create a real-time picture of what's happening on the roads. So it's like Waze on steroids. Yeah. Gathering information from multiple sources to give drivers the best possible route. Exactly. And the really impressive thing is that this system can actually make adjustments to traffic signals in real time, easing congestion, and getting people where they need to go faster. Okay, so we've got roads that can talk to our cars, direct traffic, and even heal themselves. It's like we've stepped into a sci-fi movie, but it's real life. What, what about self-driving cars? Where do they fit into this whole smart city equation? That's where things get really interesting. Imagine a world where traffic flows smoothly, accidents are rare, and road rage is a distant memory. That's the promise of self-driving cars paired with smart roads. It sounds too good to be true, like something out of a utopian novel. Whoa. But seriously, how can these two technologies work together to actually make that happen? Well, it all comes down to communication. And I'm not talking about cars honking at each other. Remember V2X or vehicle to everything communication that we touched on earlier. That's the key. Right, V2X. But honestly, it still sounds a bit like science fiction jargon to me. How do you actually get cars to talk to? Well, everything. It's all about using technology that's becoming increasingly common wireless communication. Basically, Cars equipped with V2X technology have these special radios that allow them to send and receive signals from other vehicles, traffic lights, road signs, even pedestrian smartphones, anything with the right tech. So it's like giving every car a voice and ears, mm. allowing them to share information and coordinate their movements. Exactly. For instance, imagine you're approaching an intersection and the light is about to turn red. With V2X, your car would receive a signal from the traffic light ahead, giving you ample warning to slow down safely. Okay, I can see how that would be helpful, especially for someone like me who may or may not have a tendency to occasionally slam on the brakes at the last second. But what about accidents? Can V2X really help prevent those? 
Absolutely. Let's say a car up ahead slams on its brakes because a pedestrian suddenly steps into the crosswalk. With V2X, your car would receive an instant alert, even if the view is blocked, giving you precious seconds to react and avoid a potential collision. Wow, that's incredible. It's like having a sixth sense on the road, anticipating danger even before you can see it. That's a great way to put it. And it's not just about preventing accidents either. V2X can also make our commute smoother and more efficient. Imagine cruising down the highway and your car automatically adjusts its speed to match the flow of traffic, preventing those annoying stop and go waves that seem to come out of nowhere. Okay, now that's something I think we can all get behind, less time stuck in traffic. But this all sounds pretty complex. How do self-driving cars factor into all of this? Are we all just going to be passengers in our own vehicles, letting the robots take the wheel? Well, not exactly. Think of it this way. Self-driving cars rely heavily on their sensors to navigate the world. But even the most advanced sensors have their limitations. They can be affected by things like bad weather, poor visibility, or even just unexpected obstacles. So how do we overcome those limitations? That's where V2X and smart roads come in. V2X acts like an extra layer of perception for self-driving cars, providing them with real-time information about their surroundings, even beyond what their sensors can detect. So it's like giving those self-driving cars an even more advanced sixth sense allowing them to navigate complex situations with greater confidence. Precisely. Imagine a self-driving car approaching a busy intersection. With V2X, it can communicate with other cars at the intersection, negotiating right-of-way and ensuring a smooth, collision-free flow of traffic. It's like a perfectly choreographed dance, with each car knowing exactly when and where to move. But let's be realistic for a moment. As amazing as this all sounds, I can't help but think about those sci-fi movies where the robots take over. Are we really ready to hand over control to machines, even if they are super smart machines? That's a valid concern, and it's something that researchers and engineers are very mindful of. Remember that article from Smart Roads, A New Horizon of Mobility, that we discussed earlier? One of the key takeaways from that article was the importance of human expertise in this increasingly automated world. So you're saying we won't be seeing self-driving cars replacing human drivers entirely anytime soon? Not at all. In fact, as smart road and autonomous vehicle technology advances, it actually creates new opportunities for professionals in fields like engineering, data analytics, and urban planning. We'll need skilled individuals to design, implement, and manage these complex systems, ensuring that they operate safely and efficiently. So it's not just about replacing jobs, but also about creating new ones that require specialized skills and knowledge. Exactly. And let's not forget about the ethical and legal implications of this technology. We need experts who can grapple with questions of liability, privacy, and fairness as we navigate this new landscape of transportation. Organizations like the International Road Federation are already developing training programs to equip professionals with the knowledge and skills needed to tackle these challenges. It's reassuring to know that as we venture further into this uncharted territory of smart roads and autonomous vehicles, we're not just focusing on the technology itself, but also on the human element. It's about finding that delicate balance between innovation and responsibility, ensuring that these advancements ultimately benefit everyone. But while we're on the topic of human ingenuity, let's shift gears for a moment and talk about some of the specific applications of smart road technology that are already making a real-world impact today. Absolutely. We've talked a lot about the future, but there are some truly remarkable things happening right now in cities around the world. For example, remember the Latvian startup Berkman that we mentioned earlier? Their intersection control unit isn't just a futuristic concept, it's actually being used in real-time traffic management. Right, the system that uses cameras to get a bird's eye view of intersections. It's like having a digital traffic conductor. But how does that actually play out in a real-world setting? Well, imagine a busy intersection during rush hour. Cars are backed up, tempers are flaring, and it seems like gridlock is inevitable. With Berkman's system, the cameras capture a constant stream of data about traffic flow, speed, and even the presence of pedestrians or cyclists. This data is then fed into an AI-powered system that can make real-time adjustments to traffic signal timing, optimizing the flow of vehicles and preventing those frustrating bottlenecks. It's amazing to think that something as simple as adjusting the timing of a traffic light can make such a big difference in easing congestion. It really can. And it's not just about efficiency either. 
This system can also improve safety by detecting speeding violations, red light runners, and even wrong way drivers, alerting both the drivers and traffic management authorities in real time. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah. But what about other applications? Are there other companies out there using smart road technology to tackle different challenges? Absolutely. Let's hop over to Spain, where a company called Asimob is doing some incredible work with AI-powered solutions for road maintenance and management. Road maintenance. So we're talking about more than just preventing traffic jams. We're talking about actually taking better care of our roads. Precisely. Asimov's technology uses AI to analyze images and data collected from various sources, including cameras mounted on vehicles or even drones. This allows them to monitor road conditions, identify potential hazards like potholes or damage signs, and even track the progress of construction zones. So instead of relying on drivers to report potholes or hoping that road crews happen to spot a problem before it causes an accident, we can now have a system that proactively identifies and addresses these issues. You know how your fitness tracker doesn't just tell you you're tired, it warns you when you need to rest? Same idea here, but for entire cities. These smart roads are like a massive health monitoring system for our infrastructure, catching problems before they turn into those construction nightmares we all love to hate. Exactly. And the beauty of Asimov's technology is that it can create a detailed digital map of road conditions, providing real-time updates to navigation systems and even autonomous vehicles. This means no more unexpected jolts from hidden potholes or sudden detours because of a road closure that your GPS didn't know about. That's a game changer for anyone who's ever been frustrated by outdated maps or inaccurate traffic information. It seems like this technology has the potential to make our roads not just smarter, but also significantly safer. It certainly does. And while we're on the topic of safety, let's not forget about the company that's tackling one of the biggest challenges faced by drivers everywhere, traffic. I'm talking about Valoran, the Israeli company we mentioned earlier, with their incredible web-based traffic management platform. Right, Valoran. They're the ones who are like a super-powered Waze using data from both sensors and connected vehicles to provide real-time traffic updates and route optimization. But how does their technology actually differ from what we're already used to with apps like Google Maps or Waze? That's a great question. While those apps are definitely helpful for individual drivers, Valorant's platform takes a more holistic approach, using data from a wider range of sources to create a comprehensive picture of traffic flow across an entire city. So it's not just about finding the fastest route for one car, but rather about optimizing the flow of traffic for everyone on the road. Exactly. And here's the really cool part. Valorant's platform can actually communicate with traffic signals in real time, making adjustments based on actual traffic conditions. Wait, so you're telling me that their technology can actually prevent traffic jams before they even happen? In a way, yes. By analyzing traffic patterns and making real-time adjustments to traffic signal timing, Valorant's platform can help to smooth out the flow of vehicles, reducing congestion and those frustrating stop-and-go situations that we all know and loathe. This is all incredibly impressive, but it makes you wonder, what's next? Have we reached the pinnacle of smart road technology, or are there even more mind-blowing advancements on the horizon? Hold on to your hats, because we're just getting started. <laughs> it's like we're living in a world where traffic jam might actually become like an outdated term, you know? Yeah, maybe. But let's be honest, as amazing as all this is, I'm still a bit hesitant to like completely hand over control to algorithms. Right. I mean, what about those unexpected situations, you know, those... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me moments that we encounter on the road every day. Yeah, you're right. Right. Real life driving, it throws curveballs that even the smartest AI might struggle to anticipate. That's why, at least for the foreseeable future, I think human expertise will remain a critical part of this evolving transportation ecosystem. So it's not about replacing humans entirely, but rather about finding that sweet spot where technology and human ingenuity can work together. Exactly. Remember that article, The Road Ahead for a Smarter Future from Highways Today? Yeah. It emphasizes this point beautifully, I think. It talks about how, as autonomous vehicle technology advances, we'll likely see a gradual shift towards a system where self-driving cars become more common, but human drivers will still be a part of the mix. So a future where both self-driving and human-driven cars share the road, hopefully in perfect harmony. Hopefully. But how do we ensure that this coexistence doesn't descend into chaos? That's where smart roads play a crucial role. Think of them as the unsung heroes, the backbone of this new transportation paradigm. You know, 
providing the infrastructure and communication network that will allow autonomous vehicles to operate smoothly and safely, even alongside us less predictable humans. It's like creating a common language for both human drivers and autonomous vehicles, allowing them to communicate and cooperate to prevent accidents and optimize traffic flow. Precisely. V2X will be essential in bridging that communication gap, allowing autonomous vehicles to perceive and react to their surroundings with a level of awareness that surpasses even the capabilities of their advanced sensors. Okay, I'm starting to get the bigger picture here. Right. It's not just about self-driving cars or smart roads in isolation. It's about creating this interconnected ecosystem where technology and human ingenuity work in tandem to create a safer, more efficient, and ultimately more enjoyable driving experience for everyone. But let's zoom out even further. We've talked a lot about transportation, but how else can smart roads impact our cities and our lives beyond just getting from point A to point B? That's where things get really exciting. Remember how we talked about all that data being collected by sensors embedded in smart roads? Right. That data isn't just useful for managing traffic. It's a gold mine of information that can be used to make our cities smarter, safer, and more sustainable in countless ways. Okay, I'm all ears. Give me an example of how this data can be used beyond just keeping cars from crashing into each other. Imagine using that data for something as crucial as urban planning. Okay. By analyzing traffic patterns, pedestrian movement, and even noise levels, city planners can anticipate problems like future traffic bottlenecks or areas with high pollution levels. So instead of just reacting to problems after they've already become major headaches, yeah. we can actually use this data to get ahead of the curve and proactively design solutions. Exactly. Think about it. With this data, we could design smarter public transportation systems, create more pedestrian-friendly zones, and even optimize the placement of new parks and green spaces to create healthier and more livable urban environments. It's like having a crystal ball for your city, allowing you to peek into the future and make informed decisions that benefit everyone. Exactly, and let's not forget about the environmental impact. By optimizing traffic flow, promoting the use of electric vehicles, and even incorporating renewable energy sources into the infrastructure itself, smart roads have the potential to significantly reduce our carbon footprint. So we're not just talking about making our cities smarter and more efficient, but also about creating a more sustainable future for generations to come. This is starting to sound less like science fiction and more like a real possibility, a future we should all be excited about. Absolutely. Of course, there will be challenges along the way. Right. Implementing these technologies on a large scale requires massive coordination, substantial investment, and let's not forget about the critical issue of data privacy. You're right. We can't just throw technology at a problem without considering the ethical and societal implications. We need to make sure that as we build these smart roads and cities of the future, we're also building a future where everyone benefits and individual privacy is protected. Couldn't agree more. It's all about finding that delicate balance between innovation and responsibility. Well said. We've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive. From the nuts and bolts of self-healing pavement to the mind-blowing possibilities of AI-powered traffic management and the transformative potential of smart cities, it's clear that we're on the cusp of a transportation revolution. We are indeed. And while there are still hurdles to overcome and questions to be answered, one thing is for sure, the future of transportation is brimming with potential, and smart roads will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping that future. It's an exciting time to be hitting the road, even if that road might someday be driving itself. To all our listeners out there, keep your eyes on the horizon. The future of transportation is closer than you think. And who knows, maybe someday soon, that morning commute will be something you actually look forward to. Let's hope so. Well, fellow travelers, we've journeyed from self-healing pavement to roads that can predict the future, or at least the traffic jams in it. Who knew our humble highways were about to become such overachievers? As someone who spent plenty of time cursing at surprise potholes, I've got to say this future looks pretty bright. Keep your eyes on the road ahead, because it's about to start watching out for you too. And remember, sometimes the smartest path forward is the one that's literally right under our wheels. Theodore, signing off, and may your future commutes be smoother than ever. Mm -hmm.